He was our first boy, born February 2018. He was just the most beautiful baby boy. Um, being able to hold him, just feeling that connection with him when you hold him for the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget that day when he was born. So Ty, he is two years old, coming up on three. And as Ty was growing up, he was one of the most happy, smiling, interactive kids. And uh, we noticed around um, eight months, the talking kind of started going away, his babbling. And then after his 15 month checkup, he, he kind of just went a blank slate. He wouldn't look at us in the eye. Um, he, he wouldn't talk, he wouldn't make sounds. Um, so we knew that um, it wasn't our tie growing up. With us, we kind of just were in the denial, saying, oh, you know, he's just a goofy kid. He does his own thing. Um, we kind of started to talk to my wife's parents, saying, is this normal? Do you think um, they kind of paused with their answer? <laughs> we realized that you know, this something is not uh, right. So that's when, during the season, my wife took him in to get an evaluation, and that was a that was a very hard day. Um, I remember I was at practice, and uh, that's all I could think about that whole entire day. Is I knew my wife was going in, just coming back to the locker room and calling my wife and hearing her um, just hysterically crying. Uh, that's when uh, we were told that he had a severe case of autism. But it was tough because, you know, I couldn't be home helping my wife. I uh, couldn't be around Ty. Um, I remember during the season, I'd just come uh, to the stadium and sit in my truck, kind of just space out. And that season of 2019 was probably one of the hardest things I've had to go through. And that's where my wife started to do all this research because we weren't willing to accept the fact that, oh, my son's gonna be autistic and that's that. There's nothing we can do. And that's where my wife found um, Taka, the foundation that I'm using for my cause. Um, we know you haven't seen your cleats yet. We have them. I think they have them there. Oh, you got them there. Yes, I can't wait to see him. These are awesome. There we go. Love it. I have the uh, one in 54, which you know people need to know that one in 54 children are diagnosed with uh, autism. And then this is Taka's logo. And then the uh, universal symbol for autism is a puzzle piece. Every year, I've always wanted to do a cause and knowing that it's for my son it means the world I'm gonna be able to have these shoes and then I'd like to gift them to my son that he can you know put them up in his room I just people need to know that there's hope I I can't express that enough that people need hope to get through this because it's honestly the hardest thing I've ever been through uh, it still is and it still will be and um, yeah I'm just holding on to that hope Just through these past eight months, we've seen our son making so much advances. We've been able to find therapy for him. Um, sorry, it's insane what's happening. Um, now my son will, he'll walk up to me, he'll want something, he'll take something, and he'll show me what he needs. He knows that we're there. We're not just outside of his world, we're finally in and in a part of his world. And um, it's just amazing.